If you're manifesting your SP or anything else and you want your manifestation super fast, like hella quick, like as quick as you can snap your finger, then you need to start power affirming. If you want to know what I'm talking about, then stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another rousing episode of Spilling the Tea Tuesday. My name is Flossie, and I'm like the funniest, wittiest mindset coach, as well as your OG Hype You Up Rampage Queen here on YouTube. If you would like one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, links will be in the description box below, as well as links to things like the VIP group, VIP, place to be, lit, legit, people getting their shiznit, be a part of the GYS crew, get your shit crew, and join the VIP group. And, you know... I can be reasonably fun to coach with. If you want someone with a no-nonsense attitude that's going to help you to figure out what is going on in your situation, like what the holdups might be, then book some coaching with me because you and I will go through your shiznit, figure out what the fuck is going on, figure out a plan, and help you to put that plan into practice. And I don't put up with any BS. So if you want to get your sh stuff, shiznits, just book. Anyway, you know that I always have to start with my calendar should I be able to find what day that we're on okay so this says on the way to bigger and fucking better things yeah because you now know that you're the opera and power of your reality can be do have anything that you want and you're affirming and persistent so that you can what get your shit we all start shit somewhere um if the 3d is not agreeing with you then get started on affirming that's basically what I have to say about that because we are often annoyed at the fucking at first fucking sight of the 3D. Are we not annoyed when we see things in a 3D reality that don't work for us? Then if you are, do things to help with your triggering like an FU letter, command letter, rampaging and get rid of the BS going on in 3D reality so that we can do what? Prove the assholes wrong and get our shit. I'm all about getting our shit. So anyway, on to the whole topic of the video. So I've been doing this for a while and I've even posted some of the pictures in the in Sammy's group on Facebook, the Mermaid Gang, about affirming when I'm using a counter, particularly one of the counters that I use and I'll have to uh, somehow upload a picture of it, but it is the Vivid counter. And so it's basically, you can just hit the button it changes colors. It can reset. It's on, The drawback with this one is that it's only one counter, but no worries. So how do I power affirm? I like to loop affirmations, focusing on them. Now, this is when I'm focusing on my affirmations. I'm looping them in my head. I can loop faster than I can speak. Oftentimes, it's the same affirmation, or I might go through a small handful. Depends on what you know game I'm playing with myself in order to keep myself you know, mentally engaged, mentally focused in the affirming process. Why? Because I want to get my stuff faster. So what do we, real quick, before I go into too much about the counter, what do we know about manifestation, right? It's our dominant thought about the topic is what we experience in the 3D reality. We form assumptions and that that's what our life is based on, right? If you don't know anything that I'm talking about and you're totally confused on how manifestation works, what law of assumption is, I guess I should link the playlist of like, my 101 playlist or maybe maybe down somewhere further in this video I'll link another video about like what everyone is you pushed out is things like that anyway so law of assumption our dominant thought is what manifests how do we form assumptions I'm not going to go into the four key ways that we form assumptions but the main way uh, that we focus on with being manifestation coach is repetition of thought you have repetition of thought you think a thought over and over and over again. And at some point, your mind starts to have the buy-in. I call it a buy-in, which is a certain level of acceptance. Doesn't mean fully accept, but it's a level of acceptance that that thought you're thinking could possibly be true. Not that the thought is true. Not that you believe it. Not that it is 100% without a doubt a fact, but could possibly be true. And then that's when your 3D starts to conform and it's starting to manifest. How do we form these assumptions quicker repetition of thought that's why we're always talking about you know manifestation coaches like sammy and whatnot and myself are talking about affirming 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 why that is a way to have a repetition of thought looping those thoughts you can script if you wish you can have visualizations but i'm focusing this video on looping affirmations so when i do want my shit quick i focus on power affirming power affirming to me means that i use a tally counter 
and I decide either what number I'm going to get to or how long I'm going to affirm for. And it's literally, I hit this every time I say the affirmation. So I'm God, I'm God, I'm God, I'm God, or I'm a master manifesting, a master manifesting, a master manifesting. Now I can actually loop that in my head faster than what I can say it here. So I might get a thousand affirmations done in five or six minutes, depending on how long they are. So some affirmations, I just choose to, if they have two aspects to it, I hit it twice. Why? Because it also keeps me focused more. I'm not doing anything else when I'm doing this power affirming. Or, you know, like if I, I did some of this when I was in literally in the line at Disneyland is I would walk, get a new position in line, and I would affirm for, you know, firm, 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 walk a little bit more, affirm, 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 affirm. I think you're getting the picture. I just was using whatever time I had to affirm and using, you know, having little segments of power affirming. But power affirming is essentially affirming rapidly focused for, you know, just a few minutes. You're not doing this for hours because you would burn your brain out probably. Good Lord. You would burn your brain out if you were trying to do this for any real, real length of time. You're not going to do this for two hours straight because you probably would be tired. But I'm talking where you're like, Doing things like business booming, getting thousand dollars a day. 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 Do you see what I'm saying? It's like snap, 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 snap. It's how fast can I loop these affirmations, loop the whole affirmations, be rapid about it, etc. And then if you want to play a little game, you can always have situations where you're like, I'm going to affirm for five or 10 minutes. You can set a timer for a time and see how many of those affirmations that you can get done with power affirming in that amount of time. But anyway, I love to power firm. When I've done it, I've noticed that I've gotten movement or full-on manifestations quickly, rapidly. Why? Because I have super saturated my mind maybe two or three times a day with these short bursts of affirming. Like that's essentially what it is. It's having short bursts of some rapid fire affirming. But Vivid Counter, awesome. The Counter Plus app that you can get on your phone, you can have up to 12 different counters on that. There's other tally counters that are available um, I might try to slip a picture or two uh, just in this video so you can see what they look like. I also like handheld counters. I don't think I have my handheld counter in front of me, but I do have a handheld counter that I got off of Amazon that beeps every time I reach 100. So what I would like to do is sometimes I would affirm something 100 times and then switch to something else and switch to something else. You can have a fun game of how many, you know, how long does it take me to get to a thousand or something like that? So you can turn manifesting into a game, make it a little fun for you with the affirming process. Uh, see how many affirmations you can get done. Try to beat your times if you will, but you know, just have fun, do some power affirming, pick a few times a day where you're going to be like, I'm going to bust out as many affirmations as I can, whether it be the same topic or a couple different topics, you're going to bust them out, see how many affirmations you can get done in a certain amount of time or how long it takes you to get to a certain amount of time, but super saturate your mind and lightning speed so that your manifestations can come in quicker. So hoping that this video is helpful to you. It's one of the things I've been doing. I know that I have mentioned a couple times that I need to make a video on power affirming. That's essentially what it is. Really simple. It is affirming on steroids because it's like rapid, 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 rapid. Sorry, I almost get tongue tied just trying to talk that fast. But at any rate, you're putting some power and oomph behind it because you're solely focusing on it. You're looping a bunch of affirmations. You're super saturating your mind so that your 3D reality can conform faster. Why? Because we all want to what? GYS, get our shit, get your shit, be part of the GYS crew with me and do some things like power affirming. Anyway, drop your comments, questions below because you know I always try to check them out. And as usual, I'll talk to you later. Bye.